Matthew here. So, until now, the Galaxy Buds Pro were pretty much my favorite pair of true wireless earbuds. Uh, I guess the Google Pixel Buds, the second iteration, that's the truly wireless ones, were probably my second favorite pair of true wireless earbuds. But, Amazon released their Echo Buds second generation true wireless earbuds and these are the pair with the wireless charging case. So we're going to unbox this and get a quick first impression and kind of a setup of these and find out at least looks wise and first impressions wise are these worth it and can these compete with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. So go ahead and stay tuned and we'll just quickly unbox this. So the Echo Buds second generation, they retail for at least the introductory price, kind of a sneak peek, special edition price, I guess, I don't know. For these right now is $139.99, but this pair of true wireless earbuds have a wireless charging case. If you want one without wireless charging case, you can pay, I think, $119.99, so $20 cheaper and you get uh, a non-wireless charging case. But luckily, from what I've heard, that these, the charging case, actually switch from micro USB, like the first generation, and now these can charge, even if you have wireless or wired, um, I guess, charging cases, uh, it can charge via USB Type-C, which is really nice. I really enjoy that. Also, the fact that Amazon says that they've made these, this pair of true wireless earbuds, I think they said 20% um, smaller than the first generation because what I heard was the first generation was just kind of a little clunky and didn't sit right in the ear. Uh, and so they made the earbuds 20% smaller, which is nice. And then on top of that, they made the case, I believe they said 40% smaller. Uh, and so that it's nice that Amazon addressed the size of the earbuds and the case. Uh, they also added Bluetooth 5.0, which is also a good thing. And all that for the price of $139.99. So these are cheaper than your AirPods but they offer some more features that let's say the AirPod Pros, which are $249.99, offer such as active noise cancellation. So we're gonna go ahead and just quickly unbox this and we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the packaging of the Echo Buds. It's just a small little box right here. Nothing major, but of course, Echo Buds. And then right here, if you can read it, it says with wireless charging case. So. This is the $139.99. However, there is a, a set that doesn't have a wireless charging case, which would be $119.99. So you do have that option to go a little bit cheaper if you wanted to. Very similar to, let's say, the AirPods, where you have the AirPods with charging case and AirPods with wireless charging case. Okay, so on the back you see, take Alexa with you, which is really nice because these have built-in ALEXA in these earbuds so you don't really have to have that on your phone or anything like that. You can just tap it and hold, and I believe your um, assistant will pull up, like your Google Assistant or your Siri, from what I've heard. Uh, let's go ahead and just quickly unbox this. You got a little tab here, so we'll kind of take this off. Just like that, there's no need for a knife or scissors or anything, and you open the box up. And on the front right here, of the box, the top of the box, you have your little startup guide, things like that. So you have your startup guide, ear tips, all that kind of stuff, tap to controls. So for taps, you it's a single tap, double tap, triple tap, and long hold. Uh, and these taps are kind of like your play, pause, your next track, your pass through, answer calls, act noise cancellation, and your Siri or Google Assistant. Because, again, ALEXA already comes pre-built, so you don't have to uh, use the tab to pull up your ALEXA. You can just say, hey, ALEXA, what is the time? Or something like that. And it will bring it up. You don't have to hold tap and hold for that. Other than that, it's just some quick startup guide, fitting your earbuds, stuff like that, charging case all that good stuff. Then things to try, 
just some quick things to try on your earbuds and then just important information your warranty and all that product information so we'll go ahead and put that there and then here are the earbud case themselves and this case is actually pretty decent it's kind of small which is nice um, I would say it's probably as big or as small as the AirPods Pro, maybe a little bit thicker, but overall it's a good size. I'll go ahead and put that there. And then if you move this to the side, you have this. And the only other thing that comes in the box is the charging cord and the earbud tips and wings. You do not get a charging brick with these earbuds, which... I think a lot of companies are doing that, especially with Apple and Samsung ditching the charging brick on their phones. A lot of companies are just going ahead and ditching it as well. Uh, most people have the charging bricks for either their phone or their tablets or anything like that, so you don't really need another one. But anyways, we'll go ahead and move that over here. And that's pretty much all you get in the box would be the charging case with the earbuds i'm sure the ear tips the ear fins i guess you could say and the usb a to usb c charging cable okay so here is the charging case itself it's pretty nice it's like a matte finish almost kind of like the eggshell finish of the google pixel buds or let's say the finish of the samsung galaxy buds pro however i will say that this probably looks like it attracts more I guess fingerprints than the Google Pixel Buds especially but especially the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro but we'll have to see if that affects anything right there um, on the back here you see you have a USB-C charging port and then you also have the button for pairing your device to another phone or anything like that so you would just hold that until it goes into par pairing mode but anyways let's just open this up real quick and as you can see there is the earbuds themselves they're nice they're not super big they're not super small they're a good size um, I would probably say they are probably about the same size as the Galaxy Buds Pro let's see yeah they're about the same size as the Galaxy Buds Pro maybe a little bit smaller but not a whole lot so that's pretty nice that they have these and the touch the surface right here is a little bit bigger or at least it's not tapered off like the Galaxy Buds Pro as you can see it's kind of rounded um, and goes off the edge where this is just a flat surface but it has the rounded edges which is nice right there let me go ahead and close that up and I'll put this back in real quick and I'll just show you guys as you can see you got the little indicator light green it's good to go but like I said earlier this is wireless charging case so you should be able to just place it right there and it goes ahead and charges the little green light just turned on and so it is charging wirelessly but if you don't have a wireless charger you can just go ahead and plug it in to the back and there you go there's the green light and it's charging like that as well so that's nice that you do have wireless charging on this case if you so choose but if you don't if you buy the 119.99 version it does have the USB-C charging port so let's go ahead and just open this up, up the case and let's just tap the Amazon ALEXA app this is available for the iOS and the Android Play Store so you can get it on both and let's do devices let's see if we can go ahead as you can see I press devices and it already echo buds found so let's go ahead and hit continue and it's gonna go ahead and connect to the echo buds now let's go ahead and pair and pair and we'll link the that and so now it's giving me the options of the wing tips, which we have here, but I'm not going to go ahead and set these up, but it does have small and large wing tips. So you can work out with this because these are IPX4 rated, so they can deal with sweat. They can deal with a little bit of splashes. So nothing super uh, crazy, like you can't go swimming in these, but it can handle some splashes or some sweat if you're in the gym or if you get caught in the rain which is nice so let's go ahead and press next 
and the ear fit test. So I'm gonna go ahead, the mediums are already pre-installed with these, but you do have a set of the small and the large and the extra large ear tips right here. But the mediums are already pre-installed, so let's go ahead and just put these in the ears. And when you put them in the ears, you hear a nice little, uh, I guess, ambient noise. Uh, to let you know that you do have the earbuds in your ears. So we'll go ahead and just do the ear test. And so I just heard the music, the, the noise sounded really nice. It wasn't music or anything, it was just a nice hum and it sounded really nice, pretty deep. Um, so I'm gonna assume that these have pretty good bass considering the size of them. Um, so, and as you can see, the left one is great fit and the right one is a great fit as well. This is very similar to Apple AirPods kind of true fit or whatever they call it, fit ear test. Um, so you do have that option. So let's go next. And then audio controls. You can tap the earbud once to quickly pay, play or pause or your music or podcast. So now the music's playing. So next, and then skip the track to the next track or answer calls, you can double tap. And then previous, you can triple tap for the previous song. Okay, and then next to toggle long hold and to do. So now I can hear my surroundings, the pass through mode. And it's pretty good pass through mode, honestly. Um, just listening. It's not as good as the AirPod Pro's passive mode, but it is still pretty dang good in my opinion. So, And then working out with ALEXA. Um, so we'll just go ahead and skip this because I don't plan on working out with ALEXA. And now the setup is complete, so we'll press done. And then now you have all this right here. Okay, so we do have right here, you have the Echo Buds, you can do different things, all that. But we'll go ahead and click the gear icon for the ALEXA app. And this will go through with your music right here, rather than, let's say, if you have an Echo or anything like that, it won't go through that. But here's this, and you got, you can adjust the pass-through mode on this from really good pass-through to not a whole lot of pass-through. You've got your ALEXA hands-free right here. And then you have your equalizer right here as well. And you can change that to however you want. I will test that out in a minute. And then your tap controls just to remind you. And also you can set this up, change it to a different thing, stuff like that. And you can customize this. So if you do like the right one can do ANC slash pass through and the left one you can do whatever you want right here. Volume up, volume down, native assistant. A L E X A tap to talk and stuff like that. So that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do my native assistant, which is my Google Assistant, but you do have more options if you want for that. And then your ear fit test, like we did earlier, just like the Apple AirPods Pro, you do have that. And then you have my find my earbuds, um, very similar to the Apple AirPods Pro, or let's say your your Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro as well, um, where if you lose them, they'll play a nice little chirp. Let's see if we can do that. So now I'm gonna do find my earbuds, and now we're gonna play a quick sound. As you can hear, it is pretty loud. It's not like super loud, but it is pretty loud. And then, of course, you just have your regular stuff about and this is probably where you would software device and you can see your software version and all that right here. So we'll go ahead and and that was the Amazon Echo Buds app or ALEXA app with the Echo Buds on it. So we'll go ahead and put this up. And again, here is this. The the case is nice. I would I would say though it kind of feels a little flimsy, especially the top part. Um, kind of as you can hear. It kind of, it sounds a little cheap, but not too bad. And it does give a nice satisfying click right there. So that's nice. I've heard a little bit cheaper ones, but I will say like, even with the case closed, the top is a little bit, is a little bit looser. Um, but 
overall this is a nice case and it's a good size as well and it's wireless charging so that's good i'm going to go ahead and test this out uh, test the sound of these and let you guys know how it sounds at least in my opinion this is just a quick walkthrough it's not a full uh, review so just be aware of that i will do a full review later on these but right now it's just a quick walkthrough so don't expect like a, a huge review right now of the sound and all that so let me just quickly listen to some music and i'll let you guys know initially what i feel like the sound and how it is so as you can see the earbuds they fit really nice in my ears they don't stick out super a whole lot um, which is really good. I, I'm not one for earbuds that stick out a ton So that's why I've kind of strayed away from the Sony true wireless earbuds or the Bose True wireless earbuds as well because those really stick out, but these look pretty nice. They don't look too too Big and bulky on my ears, which is good. I do have smaller ears So just be aware, but I'm sure that it would look great on anybody um, I did test the one i guess the single earbud use and you can use the right one independently from the left you can use the left one independently from the right it doesn't matter you can have one in the case so that's always good overall this the sound was pretty good uh i didn't listen to a whole lot of music but i did listen to let's say uh, astronaut in the ocean i listened to money i listened to um, some May Day Parade, some rock, and so it sounded, overall it sounded pretty good, and you can tweak the settings and the sound a little bit through the EQ settings in the app, which uh, is nice that you do have the EQ settings, and you can kind of change, you can customize it however you want, you don't have to be stuck with just bass boost or dynamic or anything like that, which the Galaxy Buds Pro, you are limited to what you can you, you listen to. Same with the AirPods Pro, you're very limited. You don't even have options for that. I will say so for the music wise, uh, there is I believe an 11 millimeter dynamic driver, which helps power the sound and it gives you some pretty good sound for each earbud. Uh, I, I do like that. Each one has its own dynamic driver. And for something that is this, I guess this cheap, in my opinion, uh, Price-wise, it does feel pretty good and it does have some great features. I'm currently using the pass-through mode and it doesn't sound too bad. It, it, I mean, I can still feel and it still sounds like I do have something blocking my ears, but overall, it doesn't sound too bad at all. For battery, it is, I guess, on a single charge, fully charged, you can get up to five hours. Um, and I believe the case gives you about 19 hours of battery in the case. And then with a 15 minute charge of these in the case, you can get about two hours of, of audio music with them. So that's really nice that you do have that as well. Um, you have that quick charging capabilities if you just need to quickly um, put these in the case real quick and then put them back in, you do have that option. Uh, these have three mics per earbud, so you do have uh, some good mics and it's supposed to help with uh, call quality, but it's also supposed to help with, uh, let's say, your to isolate your sound or your voice, so when you do call your assistant, your ALEXA or your Google Assistant, anything like that, um, it will be able to hear that. So you have two on the outside and one on the inside of the buds. But overall, I will say I'm actually very surprised and very pleased with these. I think that these um, sound pretty good, especially for the $139.99 that I got. And I, I think though that might change in the future. They may raise that price up. This was kind of an introductory price, I guess, um, but it may raise maybe to 149 or 159 Let's hope maybe, if anything, 149 $10 more, but I would definitely say that these, so far, are worth the price of them, especially since they are cheaper than the AirPod Pros and I would say even the Galaxy Buds Pro. Um, with active noise cancellation. Um, and so it's really nice that you get these great features with something that is cheaper than the regular AirPods. 
uh, and I would say these are a great alternative to your AirPods, AirPod Pros for Android users. Um, and they would probably come second or third, in my opinion, to Android users if you're using a, a different phone kind of thing, not just iPhones, because of course iPhones, you gotta stick with your AirPods and your AirPod Pros, because it's best for that. But for Android users, like I said, right now my Galaxy Buds Pro are my go-to earbuds. Uh, my Google Pixel Buds are probably my second, and then these, I'll have to test these out and let you guys know what I think of these in a review. So anyways, uh, these were just released as of uh, May 13th. Uh, this video should go out on Monday, so whatever day, day that is. Thank you guys for watching. This has been my Amazon Echo Buds second generation unboxing and walkthrough and setup. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Until then, everyone, stay safe. Peace.